Hello everyone. I have a 2015 e-golf that's a no start. Let's check it out. It's been at a dealership and a couple other places that can't figure it out. It was brought to me. Fully charged. Do it yourself. Let's open the hood here and check it out. Well, right off the bat here, you can tell they tried to replace the 12 volt battery thing and that was the issue. Let's put a scan tool on it and see what's going on here. I'm not using an Otis program, but I'm using something very similar called Ross Tech VCDS because with this, I can actually go into the, every module and it gives me the module's number and name and everything else that I would need to diagnose an electric vehicle. My other scan tool will too, but it would just take me longer to get there where an original scan tool or close to an original scan tool will get me the data that I need to make my diagnosis. And as I see here, there is faults in the ABS, the central electronics module, the brake booster module, the information electronics module, and it looks like here the faults continue. Out of all the codes I have, this would be my main concern because the brake booster here has a U code, and usually U codes mean there's a loss of voltage here. Let's figure this out and we'll figure out why it's not just this module, but multiple modules in a vehicle are losing voltage. Well, after checking all the fuses for the vehicle, due to the loss of power, I found this open harness here. And then I pulled the side panel off here and I noticed this, which has a remote start button in the vehicle. I'm going to have to remove the remote start or the alarm system in the vehicle, either or whatever this is, to further diagnose this vehicle. After removing the bottom part of the dash, I found an alarm system, a GPS system, and a start stop system that doesn't belong to the vehicle. This is going to need to be removed and all the wiring is going to need to be put back. I had to remove the steering wheel after following these wires. They cut into these wires so that it would kill power to the gear shifter. I'm going to re-solder these wires and continue to disconnect the alarm system and see if this vehicle works afterwards. The e-golf now works and drives. I had to disconnect that alarm system and that GPS system. It had a remote start in it and the vehicle will, would not start because it was killing power to the gear shifter. I now have to put the covers back on. The vehicle now starts. Need to put some air in the tire before we go somewhere, but it now drives. So sometimes the dealership can't fix things. That's why they call it fully charged. Do it yourself. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe.